well guys is that and so the hair what you're going to watch right now if you will um, it's slightly different format I'm trying to you know I'm planning to actually um, try in the nearest future this is just the first episode I'll um, call in this uh, DMs off season brief beer reviews uh, basically these are going to be very short vlog kind of episodes you won't see me uh, appear on camera this time or maybe in the following episodes as well uh, basically sometimes I found I realized that sometimes I'm drinking a beer that's um, you know that's familiar to me or something I just recently had and I liked it and I feel like sharing it but um, don't really have time or you know just really the energy to film a proper beer review because that takes you know it takes a bit of effort uh, for my part um, so today I'm I'm drinking a beer that I found last week I just really didn't plan on buying this but I went to the famous beer shop in Montreal which carries like loads of uh, local good craft beer and I picked up a six pack of this American style pale ale from uh, it's it's actually from the Simple Malt Brewery which is outside of Montreal it's, I think it's it's in the suburb it's called Saint Eustache and uh, this one is it's called Un Gros Merci which means a big thank you for the beerfully.com which is a private I think it's a club it's a beer loving society of Quebec and they do some private imports but they're mostly French speaking so I'm not really um, a part of that yet I guess in my sort of limited knowledge of the language uh, either way let's pour the beer I'm going to keep this video short it's for, you know just, just for the sharing purposes I really like this beer and I think it's becoming my um, favorite local session pale ale it's got a very unusual kind of appearance if you look at it. Sorry, I'm pointing it one-handed. Um, it's a pretty, you know, a bit dark amber kind of color. Loads of carbonation, a nice foamy uh, rich head, and the smell is really hoppy in this case. Um, actually, they use Centennials and Cascade in this particular version. It's 6.1% ABV. Uh, the IBUs are 56 on this one. And uh, in French it says this pale ale of American style is uh, slightly sugary and very fresh thanks to the uh, two hop varieties they use Centennial and Cascade hops. Um, basically, the looks that it's even in this case, it looks a bit darker, but it really smells with nice floral kind of a bit piney resinous um, hoppiness you get. But at the same time, which some people found strange on Beer Advocate when I was reading the reviews, is that it's really, you know, there's a very, very strong caramel toffee kind of smell as well. And when I take a sip, it's a fairly good hot bite. Um, I wouldn't call this weak for an American style, or for an APA really, but for an English style um, pale ale, this is very hoppy. And then you get, right away, you get a very nice caramel uh, in your mouth. Well, very good level of carbonation in this one. Um, and starts becoming sort of fruity with a bit of that honey caramel note as well. Um, can't really, you know, can't really say this is a bitter beer, but the, the aftertaste will have a, a sort of a bittersweet uh, feel in the aftertaste. Because you do feel the typical American pale ale kind of hoppiness, which lingers on, and then you still get, you know, a slightly higher level of the sweetness as you would expect in such a beer. But this is my like third um, bottle, not for today, but like overall, I'm still working my way through the six pack, and I, I've got to say it's very, very drinkable. It's one of the drinkable, most drinkable local beers I've had here, and it's certainly very good. Um, interpretation of American style, uh, which I guess the Quebec microbrewers are good at at this point. So either way, I'll keep it short. Uh, this is just a, you know for sharing purposes. Nice looking beer. The head retention is well impressive from this one. I've had the, the previous ones. I've had um, the head pretty much stuck around for the for the for the you know for the duration of your drinking. Some nice lacing. Um, very good mouthfeel. Nice and you know crisp. At the same time, it's it's not aggressive or anything like that. So if you're ever in Montreal, if you, if you see this beer, um, give it a try. Read, I'll put, post the link to the Beer Advocate reviews so you can check them out as well. And um, stick to good beer, guys, and see, see you in my proper uh, DMs Montreal beer reviews next time. Bye. Cheers.